there lived a girl named Becky. She became obsessed with pumpkins. Pumpkin food, drinks, spices, you name it, she ate it. Her mother warned her that if she continued ingesting pumpkins, something bad would happen. Of course, Becky didn't listen and continued with her pumpkin-loving ways. Soon, Becky became uncontrollably obsessed with pumpkins. Losing contact with family and friends, her skin started to turn orange, and a long, winding vine started growing around her neck. People became frightened by the sight of her, so she took to hiding. But every fall, she leaves her seclusion, and they say you can sometimes catch a glimpse of her during the darkest nights breaking into the nearest Starbucks. Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing this pumpkin look. You know, I thought fall is on its way, and once fall is here, everything in their dog turns pumpkin anyways, so I thought I would do this kind of creepy pumpkin look. Um, it's pretty simple. There are a couple things I would change or just warn you about. Like, be careful when doing these lines. Like, head on, you can't really tell but I've got some curved lines up in this bitch and didn't really mean for that to happen and if I was to do it next time I would make the mouth smaller so that you could see that it was actually smiling a bit more I think just because it's so wide you don't really get that vibe but I definitely think it still looks cool um, and the last thing would be to if you were actually going to wear this out I would invest in some Scalera lenses I think is what they're called it's the lenses that are all black that cover your eyes I think it would just make it easier because then you could have your eyes open and totally not kill the look but yeah it's all up to you guys uh, so let's get started so the first thing I'm doing is taking a fluffy brush and a bright orange color and just sketching out the lines of the pumpkin head that we will be doing you're going to want to start with the lightest color and then work your way darker and darker and darker. Um, this is just the easiest way I've found to do looks like these. Now I'm just taking a clean fluffy brush and blending those orange lines into my skin tone a little bit. Because I want kind of a natural fade, I don't want any harsh lines. Now I'm taking a pencil brush and kind of like a ready orange and going in the center of those orange vertical stripes. Because uh, I want the middle of the lines to be the darkest and then kind of fade outwards. Now I'm taking a clean fluffy brush and just blending those two colors together a little bit more. And it will have you know that doing vertical lines on your non-flat face is harder than it looks. So if some of these lines come out a little bit crooked, my bad, boo boo, my bad. Now I'm just taking a gel eyeliner on an angled brush and creating the definite pumpkin lines. Now I'm taking a fluffy brush and a bit more of that orange color that we first started with and going over each line. Um, I just felt that the color kind of got lost once you put the black on, so I just want more of an intense color on my face, so add more pigment. Now I'm taking a small rounded fluffy brush and um, a dark gray eyeshadow and just blurring out those lines just a little bit. I felt like they were too um, too sharp and the look was kind of too bright. I want it to kind of be a little bit dark, a little bit more evil. You know me. Now taking a fluffy brush and just blending that all out. A clean fluffy brush, I, su I should say. Now I'm just lining my waterline and doing a little bit of top liner with that gel, a same gel eyeliner, just because I don't like putting water paints uh, that close to my eyes. Not that my eyes have ever had a reaction or anything, but I just find that it doesn't hold that well. And I'm just drawing on the outline of the eyes and then filling them in. 
Doing a flicking motion like that really helps make the ends um, sharp and pointed. Now I'm just drawing in the nose, kind of making like a skeleton nose, but like a skeleton and a jack-o'-lantern had a baby. That kind of a nose. Now just take some black water paint and black water paint, body paint, why did I say water paint? I don't know. And just fill all of those shapes in. Now what I also wanted to do was create like a candle and have it being like glowing on the inside but then I remembered I don't have any orange or yellow body paint so that didn't happen but that's definitely something you could do. Now I'm just taking a matte black eyeshadow and setting all of that body paint just so that it's not shiny and especially on the eyelids so that it doesn't crease or move. And then I go in just with a bit more detailing on the eyes. I'm a G, but you knew this. Now I'm going in with some eyeshadows and a big fluffy brush and using kind of colors that remind me of like Halloween or jack-o'-lanterns. So I'm using greens, um, purples, and I end up using a little bit of a teal, dark teal color just to kind of darken it. Uh, I just wanted more overall fun colors to the look and I'm just placing them very sporadically and randomly. There's no real rhyme or reason. Uh, and I think it adds like a good like artistic dimension to this look, like <laughs> other than the fact that we look like a freaking pumpkin, but I mean, I don't know, I just, I really like the random splotches of color, I just think it looks really good, but you don't have to do that if you don't want to. Now taking some green body paint and a really thin eyeliner brush, I'm creating some vines on my face and adding tiny leaves to them afterwards. And taking some green body paint and doing the vines that go around her neck. Um, yeah, I just use a foundation brush and make three vines wrapping around it. And now I'm using a dark green eyeshadow and just going on the edges of each vine on the top and on the bottom to make the middle the lightest color, which um, helps make it look a bit more 3D. Now I'm taking a light lime green color and just placing that in the middle of each vine. And now I'm adding some uh, navy blue, navy purple, and like dark gray eyeshadow to kind of create the bruising around her neck. Or my neck, I guess I should say, or Becky's neck, you know, whatever. Whoever's neck you're doing. And I'm taking a dark green eyeliner, a dark green bleh, body paint, and just outlining each vine just so that they're a bit more definite because they do overlap in some spots. And I'm just darkening the sides of it. Now I'm just adding some smaller curly vines so that it just kind of matches the face a bit more and looks like it's kind of the same vine situation going on all over. And then of course add some leaves to that too. Now I'm just going on the outside of each with kind of like a dark green 
color just kind of make it look a bit more like a shadow. And just blending in that gray a little bit more. And that's it, that's all guys. I hope you enjoyed. Hey guys, so that's it. That's all. Nothing real complicated or anything like that. Um, yeah. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you learned something. If you did like it, give it a big thumbs up. Uh, and remember, if you have commented on my videos, if I've liked your video, I have replied to you somewhere in the comments feed. I will have your name at the beginning of it and the reply underneath, but that is only if you have privacy settings of any sort <laughs> uh, on Google Plus or YouTube or any other, Instagram, like all of those. If you have privacy settings, I can't directly rep reply to you. Oh, poke, poke, eh. I can't directly reply to you. So, yeah, that's just what I do on YouTube to kind of reply to you guys. But if you don't have privacy settings, I can directly reply to you, and that message, you can just ignore it. Uh, if you recreate any of my looks, please tag me in on my social media. On Twitter, it's at K-S-B-E-L-L-A-N-G-E-R. And on Instagram, Google+, and Tumblr, it is XOXO Pretty Bitches. Uh, yeah, but most of all, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you pretty bitches in my next video.